right, guys, this is Dr. Joe Brown. Thank you guys for all your questions here. So I had a couple questions about talking about alkaline water, pH scale, biochemistry, and kind of why the whole being alkaline versus acidic is important. So what I want to do here today was just take a few minutes with you guys and I actually want to talk about the pH chart and why, what that is, why that's important to be one side or the other, okay? So what I'm going to do here is, uh, let me just move towards the camera here for a second. This is your pH chart here. As you can see here on, if you go towards your guys' left, that's going to be the acidic side of the pH chart, which is the side you don't want to be on. If you go here towards the middle, this is what we call neutral. And if you go here towards your guys' right, that's going to be towards the alkaline side of the spectrum. Now, the reason why that's important is that if you are acidic in pH, in other words, your pH is below 7, 6, 5, and, and down towards that area, the more acidic you are, you actually have an increased chance of bacterial infections, viral infections, cancer, fungus, things of that nature. And your immune system does not work as well the more acidic you are. So obviously it behooves you to get yourself over to that alkaline side of the spectrum, okay? And so the question is, is well, how do you do that? Well, if you're drinking coffee, you're drinking a bunch of black tea or caffeine or soda, uh, you're, drink, or you're eating things like red meat or pork, uh, the typical American diet, so you're going to McDonald's or fast food places a lot, you're just not on a really healthy diet, your body is going to be towards this acidic side of the spectrum here, okay? So obviously we want to get you on a good exercise routine, a good alkaline water routine, a good supplement routine, and that's going to move your body out of this acidic side over here towards neutral, and then the more you do it, it's going to essentially move your body a little more over to the alkaline side, okay? <clears throat> the reason why we want to do that and how we do that is and so I have patients that come in here all the time and they say well Dr. Joe my pH is always around neutral or actually sometimes it's, it's actually in the acidic side of the spectrum so how do I go and how do I fix that well the easiest way is we put all of our patients on alkaline water and I'm going to demonstrate this with you here in a second of how this works um, but we also put them on an alkaline diet we have them exercise we put them on juicing regimens, uh, some of this which we've already posted on YouTube and on my website, drjoebrown.com. Uh, and so what we want to get you guys doing is get you on good alkaline high pH water, okay? The pH water that we recommend for our patients is going to be the 9.5 alkaline water. We put them on a number of different supplements depending on what their condition is or, or why they're coming into us. Now, let me quickly go through this alkaline water machine and why I use this, okay? There's a lot of controversy of, does this work, does it not work, how does that affect the pH in your body, things of this nature. So what I, what I, so what I do is I, I use this particular brand of unit. I, I find it to be the best on the market. Um, all you do here is this machine here, it has a filter in it. It's essentially around uh, like three or four filters built into one. It takes, off of, or it takes away your lead, your chlorine, your heavy metals, all the things that you don't want to be drinking. Once the tap water is pushed into this machine and it goes through this filter process here, back behind this area of the machine, there's actually seven ionizing plates that are about this size and diameter. So the water is then running up and down these seven ionizing plates. One side of that plate has a positive charge, so it pulls negative ions towards this way. And the other plate opposite of it has a negative charge, so it's pulling positively charged ions in the other direction. So as the water is separating around these seven different plates here, it's pulling negatively charged ion water one way and positively charged ion water the other way. Well, what does that mean for you? It essentially pushes alkaline water out of this spout here, and the acidic water actually comes out the drain here, okay? And so again, why do we use this? Again, because we want your alkaline pH going up as high as we can possibly get it, and we want to keep it there on a daily basis because your immune system works better uh, when you're alkaline. You have less chance of having viral infections, bacterial infections, inflammation, and things of that nature. So I just wanted to briefly cover this with you guys. If you have any other questions, you're welcome to email me personally. Um, my website is drjoebrown.com, and that's doctor spelled out, D-O-C-T-O-R, joebrown.com. 
And if you have any other questions on this or any other subjects, you can feel free to email me there personally. I will try to get back to you guys in kind of the order I'm receiving these emails on. But again, thank you for, uh, for clicking subscribe. Thank you for all the emails and thank you for all the comments. Again, I'm drjoebrown.com and I'm happy to help you guys. Have a good day, guys. Bye-bye.